broken promises, lost jobs. Time's up, Ted. The latest attack ad on Governor Strickland from the Republican Governors Association makes three claims with varying degrees of truth. Ted Strickland promised not to raise taxes. He broke that promise. Republicans have repeated that criticism throughout the campaign, and NBC4 has previously reported on what amounts to a semantics debate. Here are the facts. In 2009, the legislature and the governor agreed to delay a planned 4.2% income tax cut in order to balance the state budget. Strickland didn't raise taxes, but he and the legislature, including some Republican lawmakers, chose to take away a planned tax cut. Republicans argue that's equal to a tax hike, but the bottom line is that the taxes didn't rise, rather they did not go down as planned. Strickland promised to bring Ohio jobs, broke that promise too. What Strickland actually promised in his 2006 campaign was to turn around Ohio. Since taking office, Ohio has lost nearly 400,000 jobs. The question voters will answer individually is whether Strickland or the national recession deserves the blame. He even spent stimulus money to hire a Texas company that used workers in El Salvador. This part of the ad seems to imply that Governor Strickland intentionally offshored those jobs, but Strickland told NBC4 he didn't know about the offshoring of jobs until well after it took place, and the ad doesn't mention that following NBC4's series of reports, Strickland signed an executive order banning state workers from such offshoring.